Welcome to Coffee with Viking. Cheers. Today's devotion, God shows mercy to save his people. 1 Chronicles 2.4 Later Judah had twin sons from Tamar, his widowed daughter-in-law. Their names were Perez and Zerah, so Judah had five sons in all. If you were going to make a list of people who demonstrate how to live a holy life, Judah may be at the top of it, having first deceived his daughter-in-law and then sleeping with her because he thought she was a prostitute. Judah could have run his life right off the rails, yet he wasn't defined by his failures earlier in his life, and God's blessings settled on his children and their descendants far from minimizing Judah's sins. The Lord desired to bring salvation to his people, and Judah's family became exhibit A of God's kindness. God desires to save, save you as well as to show you mercy and bless you and your family with his presence. There is no hope for anyone to find God apart from his mercy and saving acts. Even when you've fallen far short of the ideal that you may imagine, that you may imagine for your life, you were never disqualified from God's mercy. The only qualification you need for God's mercy is a humble need for it by coming to Him with your great need. You prepare yourselves to receive his great salvation. Perhaps the people of the Bible appear larger than life in retrospect, but the accounts left behind remind us that they needed God's mercy and love because they often failed and gave it into their and gave into their passions just like us. Lord, I trust your mercy and love and truly need it. It doesn't matter how far we go into sin. If our hearts truly become repentive and we truly seek God wholeheartedly, he is faithful and kind to forgive us and to give us the gift of salvation. But our hearts have to be in it. I love you all. Stay blessed. Stay caffeinated. And may you all have a wonderful day.